Hi and welcome to the video. My name's Jasper and in this Webflow tutorial we're going to be running over how to create the typewriter effect in Webflow. So to get started we're going to need two things. We're going to need a Webflow and we're also going to need typer.js which is free and easy to find. I'll link it in the description. Now if we jump back we've got our simple heading here. As you can see nothing really done with it yet just in a div block and a simple heading. So let's just go hi I'm a uh, Webflow developer It's just that easy and then what we're going to do is change that to span Ooh, my bad. There we go, and we're going to jump over here to typer.js now first we need This script now. I've already added the script, but I will show you where to do that So let's copy the script we'll jump over to the page scroll down and you'll see it here in the before body tag you just got to paste it in there and hit save and then once you've got that what we're going to do is create the class so you'll see here it says span class so you must have this so let's turn it into typer and then we're going to need to add some attributes so we've got data delay so let's copy that go over here get rid of that make it 150 I believe it was let's double check so yeah it says 150 and then we need the words so these are the words that will actually get typed out so we're going to add those as well and for the words we'll go with designer expert and developer again because you will need your starting word in there and then it's you can also do the uh, data colors but we're not going to do that today and you're going to need a second span as well. Now this is going to be here. So let's add another span. There we go. And that's going to need a class as well and an ID. So the class will be cursor. Didn't do that right, did I? Cursor, yes. And then we will need to give it a ID, as you can see here. So that's going to be first ID. Put that in. Easy. And then we're going to give it an attribute, which is data owner. And the value is first typer. So let's grab that. and that should be everything so let's publish that so we can check it this won't work in preview you have to publish the website to either the test webflow domain or your actual custom custom domain and there you have it let's wait it's just that easy so really quick to do and everything's free so I'll link this in the description and yeah, it's a simple, easy way to create the typewriter effect. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and like the comment. It does, I'm sorry, like the video. It does help a lot. Um, and if you like the content, you know, feel free to let me know any other sort of tutorials you'd like me to cover. I'm always looking for new ideas. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.